Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. Today's topic is going to be the power of saying goodbye. Think about that for a minute, guys. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So the power of saying goodbye. This is extremely important. So let's dig into it, meaning when you meet an individual or individuals, you usually meet on good circumstances, not always, but usually, and you get to know individuals throughout life. Example, your family, your friends, your social circle, coworkers, uh, people that you share interests or hobbies with. And these people, my hope is that most of them are healthy individuals that want your best interest. Of course, we know now that there are many narcissistic people on the planet, and these individuals certainly don't have your best interest at heart. That's for a different video. This video is about the power of saying goodbye. So let's go back in time when you were a little kid and you were in school and it was the end of the school year. In other words, you were entering summer and you had to say goodbye to kids. And maybe some of these kids moved away and you never saw them again. But what did you do? Before summer vacation, you probably would shed a tear. Like, oh, I'll, you know, I'll see you in the fall and have a great summer and all these kind of things. That's what you would do. But most likely you said goodbye to the important students of your class. In other words, not forever, but I'll see you in a couple months. Other examples would be maybe you had a teacher that you respected or loved or somebody that changed your life throughout your upbringing. Maybe it's even right now. And that person, although they didn't expect this, perhaps you walked up to them and told them, hey, you know, I'm gonna be leaving. Uh, or, you know, I just graduated and I wanna say thank you very much for changing my life and teaching me and taking the time to make me the person that I am and to open my eyes to new possibilities. Thank you. If you've done that with a teacher, and I certainly have, uh, that's beautiful. What that does is it shows your appreciation and your respect for the other individual and you're saying goodbye. You're doing the right thing. Other ways could be, you know, let's say that you went away on a vacation and you met some people or struck up a friendship and you, you had a great time with them. Say goodbye there. Hey, you know, it was great. Uh, it, this, you know, when, when we stayed to get together, I, I, you met the individual at a certain place. You, you said goodbye. You didn't just disappear and ghost them. You, you said goodbye. In other words, the power of saying goodbye, it's a huge thing. What it means is, is that you appreciate and respect the time you shared with an individual. You are fortunate and you recognize how fortunate you are to actually have to, had that time to spend with them. And you are respecting that relationship by saying goodbye. That's a very powerful tool. Example, when you were, I will now fast forward to the narcissistic relationship. When the relationship ended with the narcissist, I can assure you there was no goodbye. There, it was probably through a you being discarded or a rage fit or you discovering who they really are and then you just had, you, you couldn't take it anymore and you left and you discarded them or whatever you did, but there was no sitting down like I mentioned so frequently on the channel, sitting down, having a cup of coffee and talking things through. You can't do that with a narcissist. We know that. But putting that aside, if you really digest what I'm mentioning to you, the power of saying goodbye, it's a beautiful thing for an individual when you can actually make time to say goodbye to an individual who was with you or in your life for a period of time. And conversely, let's flip that coin around for a moment. If somebody actually takes and or took the time to thank you, for changing their life, for making their life a better life, for spending time with them. And if someone actually took the time to say, thank you and goodbye, you know, I'm, I'm moving or I'm doing, I'm leaving, then that's beautiful because they recognize how beautiful you are. They recognize your power and, and your, they recognize how important you were and or are in their life for a period of time. And this is beautiful. It, it, it's it's powerful when you have the the ability to just be and not think about what others are thinking about you. In other words, let's say it, you wanted to say goodbye to somebody and they're going on an airplane. How many times do you do that, right? You, you take them to the airport, airport, you say, hey, goodbye, have a safe flight. I'll see you when you get back, things like that. That's beautiful. If you actually took the time to take somebody to the airport, they should give you a big hug, no matter who it is, and say, hey, God bless you, have a safe flight, and I'll pick you up when you get back, things like that. That's a healthy relationship. Same thing if they took you to the airport. Think about it. Someone took the time to actually drive you to the airport because they care about you and they love you and they're saying goodbye in that circumstance. They're saying goodbye or you are saying goodbye just for a short period of time, the duration of your trip. And then you return and they're there to pick you up and it makes you feel good to have someone to pick you up at the airport. 
These are, these are examples of the power of saying goodbye. There are so many more examples, but I want to mention that most people, they, they should have the power to say goodbye in a nice way, in a polite, kind way, and not f fear what rejection or fear what other people are going to think. In other words, if you can actually be yourself and really be genuine and authentic with yourself, and I'm certain many of you are on the channel because you're here getting wisdom, you're here getting education, you're here sharing your experiences. But if when you actually say goodbye to somebody, it it can have a not so good context, meaning with a narcissist. Maybe you didn't say, okay, goodbye. And the, you, I mean, in that case, there's no reason to say goodbye. Because why? Because they discarded you and they wouldn't give you closure. We know that. So you had to say goodbye on your own and you had to give yourself your own closure or maybe you're giving it to yourself right now. And that's when you became super strong or that's when you're becoming strong because you're understanding that there are toxic individuals on the planet, people that don't have your best interest at heart, even though they manipulated you and tricked you into perhaps falling in love with them or striking up a business relationship, things like that. But then there are the good ways to say goodbye, which I've already illustrated many of them. Now for me personally, I've had to do this very recently, including this morning. And what I have done, which is why I'm shooting the video, uh, I'll roll this back. Many of you know my journey. You've been with me. You've been on it and you're still on it here today with me right now. And I say thank you very much. God bless you. You're a beautiful and amazing community and I am so fortunate to be a part of this. But there are moments in time when you have to say goodbye to individuals and I had to do that this morning. No specifics will be necessary. However, it felt good. At the same time, it was bittersweet. And I teared up and I will, I'll have a couple more goodbyes tomorrow. And then that will be it. And this part of the journey will have been concluded. The journey will continue in different aspects, in different areas, in different locations, different countries, under certainly many different positive circumstances. I want to let you know, though, that when you actually have the intention of saying goodbye to somebody and you can actually shed tears and be yourself and you're hugging, not because you're expected to hug somebody like with the narcissist, if you ever got a hug with the narcissist, was it forced? Of course it was. Was it a full hug? No, it wasn't. Was it a hug half-hearted at best? But then fast forwarding, when you actually meet authentic and genuine people that care about you and they, the hug, when you say goodbye to somebody, it seems like it lasts forever and you don't want to let that hug go because it feels good. It feels right and it feels comfortable. And that's the power of saying goodbye. So I know that many of you are probably saying to yourselves, wow, I get this. This is really, it's, it's important and it's powerful because it is. You see, when you are actually embracing somebody physically, saying goodbye and you're hugging them and they're, or they're hugging you and they don't want to let you go, that's what life is all about. Whether it's your kids, whether it's your romantic interest, your neighbor, somebody, whoever, anybody, a coach, if somebody cares that much about you to actually embrace you and give you a big hug and say, all right, goodbye, you know, I, I get it. I love you, I'll miss you, things like that. It's powerful. It's actually absolutely amazing. So why I'm creating this video and I'm creating it early is to let you know that many of you, myself included, never had the opportunity to say goodbye to certain individuals in your life. I think you can read between the lines. Having said that, you understand at a certain point on the healing path that you won't have the opportunity to say goodbye to certain individuals. It's just the way it is. And I am referencing narcissistic abuse and I'm referencing many people that are a part of the narcissistic abusive cycle, i.e. flying monkeys, extended family members, etc. These people have been manipulated. They've been duped and tricked and trapped. And unfortunately, they are drinking the Kool-Aid. That's their business, not mine. But it's a shame. It's a real shame that these individuals cannot stand up for themselves and do the right thing. And they never could. But then again, they showed you their true colors when the smear campaign was fully underway. They didn't reach out and talk to you, did they? No, they didn't. I'm certain your friends and any relationships on the, the your partner's side, meaning extended family members, they were never on your side. They never would be on your side. What, the, what are they? They're just cowards and bullies, just like the narcissist. It's exactly who they are. So why I'm saying that is because there are good individuals there are individuals that got caught up in the crossfire. There are people that actually did have your best interest at heart. I'm talking 
extended fa family members or friends, things like that, post-narcissistic relationship, and I am staying on track. There are people, but there are people that were silenced. They couldn't say goodbye to you. Why? Because the ramifications that they would endure from the narcissist. Perhaps they would be cut off financially. Perhaps they would be the next target. Perhaps they were just too afraid. That list goes on and on and on. But for those people who actually did care about you or do care about you right now but couldn't reach out, that's a goodbye to you. It's not anything negative. It's not wishing ill will upon anybody. I've never done that. I won't do it now. I take the high road. I do what I can to benefit myself and the planet. And that's what you should do. However, in retrospect, post me saying goodbye to a certain individual this morning, I wanted to create this video because it's super fresh in my mind and I create my videos daily because this is a video journal of my life, of what I'm going through. And my hope is that this video and many others will give you the education, the wisdom, the courage, the strength, the dedication and devotion to have you move forward just like I have. The healing path is not linear, it's difficult. It takes twists and turns. It takes you super high and super low. You never know what day, what will bring, each day will bring for you. This morning when I said goodbye to a very important person in my life post-narcissistic relationship, I was almost certain that I would not shed a tear because I had already processed so many things. And yet, I did. And I cried for a long time. So, I just want to let you know that it's not easy but that is a path that we all must go on. And I'm a human being just like you are. And every day is a challenge. So for those of you who perhaps could be consuming this content and you know the individual that I am, or you know the individual of the person watching the video, which is you, and you never had the opportunity to say goodbye, you should do it. You really should. You don't have to contact them, but just do it mentally and know that we're all human beings. So guys, I am continuing to do what I do. I won't stop. It's an emotional period of time for me. I love you all. God bless you. I'll talk to you tomorrow.